Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with a Windows installation or perhaps any installation on a drive that says that it encountered an unexpected error. Verify the installation sources are accessible and restart the installation and then it's followed by error code 0xe0000100. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So before I begin, I do want to stress that what we're about to do to the drive is going to clean anything on it. So anything that's on the drive is going to be removed. It's going to be sanitized. It's not going to exist anymore. So make sure you back up whatever's on there if there is anything on there because it's going to be completely wiped. So just keep that in mind before you do anything. And now that you have accepted that, we're going to go ahead and begin. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now we're going to go select the disk part. So type in D-I-S-K, P-A-R-T, exactly how it appears on my screen. Hit enter on keyboard. Give it a moment to load. Should take disk part and then there should be a blinking cursor. Type list space disk. So list disk. Hit enter on keyboard. So, and now you would type in select disk zero or whatever disk is listed on here that you want to partition or install Windows on. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And then you're going to select clean. So C L E A N. Hit enter on keyboard. Again, this is just a demonstration here. We obviously can't do it on our current drive, but if you had a secondary drive or disk partition already made, you would just select that disk. Obviously, like I just said, you would select the disk from this list that is applicable to you that you want to clean and you want to install Windows on. You would select it and then select the clean option. You would need to restart your computer at that point and then your issue should have been resolved. A further thing you can try here, if you have the disk drive letter, you know what it is. You can always type in chk dsk followed by a space and type in whatever the drive letter is you want to run for run a check for bad errors. So let's say for example we are trying to do it on the current Windows installation drive which is the C drive. So let's just say that we actually do want to do it on our current drive. You can just type in whatever our drive letter is which I said in my case is C. I'm going to do a colon then a space forward slash F exactly how it appears on my screen. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. Actually I have to exit out of here so let me type in EXIT to exit and now I'm going to type in CHKDSK followed by a space forward slash F another space forward slash R. Hit enter. So it says check this cannot run because the volume is in use because obviously our computer is on. Tap the Y key on your keyboard and then hit enter. So you're going to close out of everything, restart your computer, and it will initialize the check disk scan the next time your computer restarts. So if you close out of here, and you were to go ahead and restart your computer.
Okay, there you go guys, simple as that. So hopefully your issue should have been resolved at this point. You can go ahead and install whatever application or Windows OS you're having the problem with. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.